Hey folks, ET here coming at you with the stock market week ahead look. So let's get to it. First up, we are covering Amazon. We'll go ahead and jump over to its dark pools real quick just to take a look at where its largest ag is and what else we should be paying attention to. So 200 is a spot that I'm kind of eyeing for a dip buying scenario if it goes down there, if we have some red days. This 206 level right here around 207 really has uh, the largest amount on it right now, obviously, and there's some gamma there that we want to take a look at as well to kind of match up. So a couple of scenarios here on our ag. We have 205, right? 205 is a huge, huge, huge positive wall. Remember, green attract or green repels and red attracts. So on our ag here, we have, let me go ahead and make sure that we're on the ag. Yep. On our ag here, we have 205 as a repel, so we need to hold there with a pull up to 212 and a really thin range up to 225, pretty far away. But we wanna go ahead and take a look at our weekly here for our 12.6, just to see if we get the whole picture here. So 207.5, right around that dark pool. Gonna be a point of contention. Biggest pull is 210, still showing that room up to 225 right there. But here's what I'm eyeing right here. So if we can't hold 207.5, we do have a decent pull to the 205 and then a little bit of repel here at 200. So that next large dark pool would really be a place that I would love to eye Amazon for a pull to down here because of this 205 on a red day and then a bounce back up. With the ag showing 205 as a bit of a repel or a very large repel, if we get down to the 200, what I'd like to see is maybe trim longs around 205, and then that, then at that 207.5 that was a repel actually on our weekly, and then leave runners up to this 212.5. That is our look at Amazon. Pretty quick and to the point, very simple for us. Easy look, eyeing some downside, hopefully to get some longs, make sure to recheck the data as we go along, make sure these pulls still exist. Next up is NVIDIA. Now we have a bunch of SIG prints here at 135.3. Mark that on your charts. Very important level for it. We'll go ahead and check its dark pools now as we go along. Interestingly enough, that aggregate is all the way up there at 147.65. So dip buys to that spot seem like a good idea as long as Gamma holds and Gamma agrees, which we're going to check right now. So let's go ahead and jump into our Gamma here for NVIDIA and see what we're looking at. The ag's a little bit wishy-washy here. Biggest pull's actually down here at 125. 134 is a huge repel level, so staying over that, and we really have room on the ag all the way up to 141, a little further away than that 147. But let's go ahead and check our weekly here for 12.6 and see what it says for us as well. So sort of the same thing here. 141 is a huge repel level, a good spot if we're long to trim. If we get over and stay over, we have tons of room up. 150 is the largest pull on our weekly, actually. So if we stay over 141 and we hold that, then that 147 dark pool might be a good target to start to trim more longs if we break this 141. All the way down here, we have a small pull at 130. And then this 134 here still makes sense as a place we need to hold. So ultimately, NVIDIA is pretty simple. We really want to hold 134. If we do that, then we then I can take some longs to 141 and trim, leave runners up to 150 if we get that nice bullish week. Last up is Mara. All right, with all of the crypto craze we've seen with Bitcoin nearing 100K, altcoins running everything else, good idea to keep an eye on the crypto tickers. Mara had a nice run there in the end of the week last week. And taking a look at our largest ag, it's around 2550. Very important. We've got another massive one down here at 19. No SIG prints to mark here for that, but keep an eye, we're right around this price area right here at the moment. So I like to see the further we get away from our largest ag, the more I want to take price down to it. Let's go ahead and check our gamma on it though and see what all of that looks like as we go along. So going through our gamma here, pretty simple, huge repel at 26. It sort of matches that 2550 we saw for that dark pool. Huge repel for our ag at 26. So price gets down to 26, we're right around 27, 28 right now. Then that's a good idea to take a look for potential long with a really big pull up to 30 and then a 32 there. But let's check our weekly real quick just to see what it says for us. Weekly has a little bit of a different picture. Still shows we need to hold that 26 
that same range up to 30. No problem. Biggest pull on there is 27. So holding 26, we can remain bullish and we can take it long a little bit up here. But losing 26, biggest pull is down here to 23. So if crypto sees a sizable pullback and we cannot get above and stay above 26, we've got a nice room down to this 22 right here repel for our weekly. So always good to drill down a little bit and look into our different week, our different expiries as opposed to just the ag. The ag is my favorite for sure, but I want to see what the week brings. And when they kind of line up a little bit like this 26 does, helps to make quite a bit of sense. So keep an eye on these levels. This 26, if it rips up to 30 and can't get past, be a nice spot to maybe take a short back down for, for the short side. And if it loses this and cannot get above it again, then runners can be taken down a little bit further there. Plain and simple there. Look for Mara. Everybody have a good week. Stay safe out there and go get that Oprah.